Adventure. Tonight we tell the story, Fireflies and Gunfire, by George Candy. I've just been to see my friend, Bull Turner. He's in hospital after being injured in a gliding accident. <laughs> Imagine, gliding at his age. Ah, oh, but he was always a wild, stroppy character. I should know. I spent nine months with him on the loose in the German-occupied Italy during the war. After the Italian armistice, we did a duck from the Ferris Sabina camp and hold up for the winter in a mountain village where the peasants were strongly anti-German. Then in May 44, we went south, hoping to get through the front. By the time we'd reached the area behind the casino, our civilian clothes were in tatters, and our boots were falling apart. Cool. We looked like tramps. Hey, Bull. I don't like this. The old place is swarming with Jerry troops. Well, what do you expect? You can't reach the front without going through the base area. And let me tell you, Arthur, we haven't much further to go. Oh, come off it. That gunfire isn't as loud as it was this morning. And these hills are ahead of masking it. According to my reckoning, casino's less than 15 miles away. That big town back there must be Sora. And the river over on the right is the Leary. Yeah, the ferryman told us the Allies had captured casino. Well, so much the better. It means the front is closer than I thought. Uh, let me have another look at that map. But you can't look at a map now, Boo. Why not? Well, the Jerry's will see you. There's an old mob of them in the vineyard on the other side of the edge. And remember that carabinieri we passed a few minutes ago? Oh, he gave us a very suspicious look. Oh, so what? He's only an Italian policeman. Yeah, but they work with the Jerry's. Hey, watch out. There's a truck coming along behind. <laughs> Get to the side of the road and keep your voice down. Sure. You should have seen the way that driver stared at us. Stop panicking. We're dressed like Italian peasants, aren't we? Yeah, but we don't look like Italian peasants. Well, that area of yours is over a foot long, and you're not wearing an hat. I couldn't worry about that. There's only two things that interest me at the moment. The first is finding some grub, and the second is getting through the front. Oh, we're not likely to do either, the way things are going. Where are you going to find grub for a start? Every field's occupied by the Jerry's, and if we did come across an Italian farm, well, they'd probably refuse to help us. The eye ties in these parts aren't nearly as friendly as those in the mountains. Well, I'm going to get hold of some grub if I have to steal it from a Jerry Field kitchen. Hey, Bull, you see what's happening behind us? What's the matter now? We've been followed, Pills. I'm telling you, that carabinieri is definitely trailing us. He's got a Jerry with him. What a pair of them are jabbering away like mad about us. If you keep on looking back like that, you're bound to raise suspicion. Charlie, I think you're right. They are following us. Blimey, now we're Shut up and listen. We've got to get off this road. We've got to act fast. Is there anything in that orchard on the left? Uh, yeah, an hospital tent. And on the right? Uh, an ak ak gun under a camouflage net. And we must keep walking till we get level with those bushes at the bend in the road. And then? And then we duck into them, of course. We'll wait till I get the word. Come on, step it up a bit. Okay, move. Bob, why? Get through it, you nit. Oh, gee. Oh, as a ditch. Get down and shut up. There's young a cow is dog and iron water. Some table. Goes in the jet. Now, where was Ali? Go. It's all up, Bull. He's found me. Dio mio! Oh, oh, oh! Heavens, Bull, what did you do? I knocked him out. 
That rock on the back of the head will keep him quiet for a bit. You might have killed him. So what? Well, if that cherry points us... He won't. We'll cut straight through these bushes away from the road. But first, I want to take a souvenir from our friend. His automatic? You're not taking his automatic, are you? Yes, I am. But, Bull, think of the consequences. I mean, if they catch us as we are, we'll be treated like ordinary prisoners of war. But if they catch us armed, they'll regard us as part of... Oh, stop, Belchin. Save your breath for the rest of the journey. We've got to get away from this area as fast as we can. Can't we rest for a bit? I'm all in. <laughs> You're out of condition, Arthur. <sighs> You've had too much soft living in the Abruzzi. Oh, darn it, we've been going flat out for the last half an hour. Oh. Hey, did you see what's ahead? Uh, it's a huge gorge. Huh? Oh, blimey, look at them cliffs on the other side. We've got to climb up. And that must be the River Melford down there. Oh. Yes, let me study the map. Uh, yes, you see? It is the Melford. We're getting close. Casino's only ten miles away. Look, I can see shells landing on that hilltop. This must be a good five miles from here. I reckon we'll get through the front tonight. Oh, I'm still worried about that carabinieri. But when the juries find out what you do to him, they'll start a man up. Oh, that's right. Do you think they're going to worry about a carabinieri at this stage of the game? Perhaps you didn't notice just now that they were dismantling tents and loading trucks. I'm telling you, they're withdrawing. You can hear from the gunfire that the Allies have broken through the plains. If the juries don't pull out of this area, they'll be encircled. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll wait till nightfall, and then cross the Malfa. In the meantime, we'll find some grub. I haven't eaten for two days. Uh, do you see over there? What? The house. And someone's standing in the doorway. It's probably the last inhabited farm between here and Casino. It's our only chance of a meal. Do you think it's any use worth trying? Well, they're probably like the rest of the Italians around here. They'll refuse to help us. Well, in that case, I'm going to use force. I didn't take that automatic for nothing. Oh, fool, don't be mad. Well, what do you think will happen if you start pulling a gun on the eye toys? What do I think will happen? I know what will happen. They'll cop up their hoarded supplies instead of refusing us like they did yesterday. I'm damned if I'll be treated like a beggar again. How many houses we call that? Oh, at least 50. And we weren't offered so much as a slice of bread anywhere. Oh, come on, we were. What about those shepherds who gave us that stuff that tasted like spinach? That doesn't count. It's like eating grass. I don't care what these eye eyes here offer us. It can be dry polenta if they like, but it's got to be something or else someone stops a bully. Oh, fool for heaven's sake, don't... You and your wishy-washy ideas. I suppose you're going to refuse to eat the grub if I produce it with the help of this automatic. We're not on a guided tour of Italy as you sometimes seem to think, Arthur. And when we get to this house, please keep the conversation strictly to business. I don't want to hear any waffle about land tenure and Roman remains. I'm sure that was the only reason why you learned Italian, so that you could natter about nothing. I like that. I'd like to know where we'd be now if I hadn't learned Italian. On the other side of the front, I expect. At any rate, use your Italian to good effect now. Buongiorno, signorina. Siamo prigionieri di guerra. You are English. Oh. Gosh, you, you can speak English? Yes, I have lived in England. Before the war, my father goes to England for summer. We work at the seaside, Tony Lee's ice cream stall. Or we go to other countries also, France, Germany, Belgium. Well, that, that's very interesting. Uh, pleased to meet you, Miss Tonelli. I'm Arthur Saunders, and, and this is my muckerin, Paul Turner. Well, we're English. <laughs> Afternoon, Senorina. We're in need of food. That's why we've come here. Can I speak to your father? My father, he is not here. The Germans take him. So why did they do that? To work on the roads. He only come back on Sundays. Oh, that, that's really tough. Yes. Can I speak to your mother, then? She is in the hospital in Sora. She's very sick. You mean you're all alone? Yes. My brother has been conscripted. Conscripted? But how's that possible? The Germans don't conscript Italians. He's in the Italian Republican Army. That's Mussolini's army. They have to fight for the Germans. So, you see, I have to do all the work on the farm myself. Oh, I wish we could help you. Our job is to get through the front. I hope nobody's going to forget that. Now, look here, Senorina. 
I'm sure you can spare us some food. I have a very little food. I'm sure you can spare some. How foolish. Uh, yes, I can spare some food. I will cook you some supper. I like it to help the Allies. Ah, that's more like it. Oh, you'd better come inside. Do anyone see you come onto the farm? No. Well, we got chased by a German in a carabinery about half an hour ago. Oh, that is bad. I think they will come now and search the house. Well, why should they do that? They surely don't search every house in the neighborhood whenever they spot an escape POW. They always search our house. Why yours? Because they know I come from England. But you don't. You only went to England in the summer to sell ice cream and to other countries as well. But you see, we often help escaped prisoners. After the armistice, many of them come past this house. They go to the front. English, American, Australia, New Zealand. The Germans know we help those men. So now they always search if they think that we are... Well, if they come searching today, I've got something for them. You see this? What do you... The gun? Yes, Senorina, a gun. A gun that'll be used if any German, or anyone else for that matter, tries to stop us getting to the front or refuses to help us. Oh, Paul, you can't use an automatic if Jerry comes here. Mr. Nelly, you'll be executed. There won't be any Jerry left alive to execute her. But how could you hush up a thing like that? Oh, pipe down, Arthur. Now, Miss Tonelli, you said something about taking us inside. Yes, sir. Please come quickly. It is not good to stand outside with a gun in your hand if my neighbors see you. Now, please follow me. I take you to my brother's room. If you are in here, no one will know. Oh, it looks... First class, senorina. And if the Germans come, there is a place to hide. Where? Up there. You mean in the ceiling? What, is that a trapdoor, eh? Yes, it is a trapdoor. You must climb into the wardrobe to push it open. Then you must get into the ceiling and wait until they've gone. Oh, that's a great plan. But I hope we don't have to use it. I go and cook some food now. Ah. Well, it's a bit of luck finding this house, eh? She seems to have a lot of guts, that girl. I think she's phony. Why'd you say that? How did you ever hear such a fishy story? What? All that rot about the German suspecting her because she's been to England. She's been to Germany too, hasn't she? And then that sob stuff about her brother being conscripted. I bet he volunteered in order to keep him with the Jerry's. Oh, I think it's a pretty mean thing saying that about her. The way she's given us food and shelter. Oh, the food part's all right. But I feel trapped in a room like this. <laughs> yeah, what sort of view do we get from the window? Oh, not much. Trees are only about 20 yards away. That gunfire is getting louder. Yeah. That means the Allies are still advancing. We ought to be through the front by midnight. Oh, sun's setting already. Oh, heavens, bull. What? A jerry. Where? Coming through the trees. Well, don't just stand there. Move. Jump through the window and run for it. It's too late. You'll see us. Then I'll, I'll use the automatic. Oh, bull, please. Look, do you want the old Tonelli family to be wiped out? At least try the ceiling first. Oh, all right, then. Climb on the wardrobe and open the trap door while I keep watch. Can you reach it? Uh, yeah, but it, it seems to be jammed. Uh, the Germans come. So I've noticed, Miss Tennelly. I'm ready for him. Please, no guns. Get into the ceiling. Uh, this trap door won't open. Push hard. It often sticks like that. I can't move it. I'm getting down. Get under the bed, quick. Not on your life. That's a stupid place to hide. We'd better make a duck through the window. No, no. Perhaps there are other Germans outside. Do what she says, Paul. Get under the bed. All right, but if he comes in here... Oh, Barton! Oh, Barton! Now, please, not a sound. This is the worst place she could have thought of. Why'd you say that? We can't be seen from the doorway. Oh, look, if you were searching a bedroom, where would you look first? Under the bed. Exactly. We're like rats in a trap under here. Maybe Red Arthur. I want a clear field of fire. I wish I knew what was going on out there. They'd been talking for ages. Yeah, talking in German, too. She seems 
was very fluent in that language, which makes it all the more suspicious. How does it make you suspicious? I wonder if she is asking you what the reward is for giving us away. Hang on. They're coming in. Well, I'm ready for them. German anymore than I do. Oh, yes, I do. I took German at school. And I've definitely heard her say something about Unterdustbett. Well, wasn't it a way of maybe calling his bluff? Bluff? What do you mean, calling his bluff? If he'd looked, he'd have found us, wouldn't he? Well, what are you worrying about? He's gone and we're still on the loose. In fact, there's no point in staying under this bed any longer, is it? Let's get out, eh? Yeah, all right. You know what I think? What? I think he's going to get reinforcements. Ah, nonsense. Reinforcements in order to capture two men. Now, look. When they were nattering in the kitchen, I bet she told him we were armed. And then she opened the door so he could see where we were hiding. <laughs> now, listen, just you watch. He'll be back with other Jerry's. You know, you ought to become a scriptwriter or something. I wish I had your imagination. You can wish if you like, Arthur. But if you think about it, you'll see it all hangs together. She's been to Germany, right? She even speaks German. Her brother's in Mussolini's army. She tells us to hide in the ceiling, knowing full well the trapdoor doesn't work. And then she gets us under the bed where we're completely helpless. <laughs> and now she's sent him off to get reinforcements. Ah, she seems a straightforward sort of person to me. Yeah, well, maybe she does. But her character's got nothing to do with it. It's the situation she's in, that's all. You've seen how much these people have suffered in the war. They're desperate. Well, obviously, she's hoping for the reward. 10,000 lira, or whatever it is, for giving information about escaped POWs. Oh, well, I don't know what to think. I'm sure she's trustworthy. Well, maybe you are, but I doubt. I think we should clear off while we can. What, and miss the meal she's cooking for us? Ah, yeah, all right. We'll hang on for the meal. But I'm keeping the automatic at the ready with the safety catch off until we leave here. Hey, be quiet. This is her now. All right, she's gone. Oh, you sure must get out of them out of the bed until I tell you. I think I feel a little safer on my feet than under the bed, Signorina. Uh, Miss Tonelli, uh, what do the Jerry say then? He's telling me that to escape the prisoners attack a carabinieri and that the carabinieri is in hospital. Then he says he can't search no more because the Germans is retreating. He's got to get back to his company. Yeah. That's a very interesting story, Signorina. Aren't you pleased that they are retreating? Mm-hmm. I'm just afraid they may retreat right up to this house. I don't think they do that. There's no road here. No, you see, what Bull means is that you can't trust these cherries, you know. They, they might be lying. Yeah. Other people, too. I go and finish the cooking now. I wish you'd stop these insinuating remarks. There's no proof that she's planning to ditch us. It's only a lunch you got. A pretty sound hunch, in my opinion. Well, I just hope you'll apologize to her when we get out of here and without being caught. <sighs> well, I've got another hour to wait, I suppose. If we'd any sense, we'd get some sleep now with a bed here and all. We'll be walking all night, probably. Uh, well, you can if you like. I'd sooner sleep in the middle of a minefield than in this house. <laughs> You'll see, Arthur. That Jerry will come back, and he'll come back with a squad. Well, if you feel that way, I'd better not sleep either. I'll read something, then. Oh, you got a lot of books on this shelf. Hey, look at this. What's that? It's a copy of Pirandello's plays. Oh, I read some of these when I was learning Italian, you know. 
And believe it or not, there's an Italian translation of Uncle Tom's Cabin. Now, uh, look, I suppose you do realize, Arthur, that our job is to get through the front and not make a study of Italian literature. What's the harm in reading while we're waiting? Read as much as you like. But I'm sitting next to the window with the gun in my hand, just in case that jury comes back. Two days without food, a, a meal like this is great. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm sorry, it's only polenta. I'd like to give you pasta squita, but there's a ration on the flour, and the Germans have taken all our hens, so there's no eggs. They take our cows, too. Yeah, well, I can tell you, I'm so hungry now, I could eat an horse. This <laughs> isn't horse, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, and I wish your friend wouldn't eat with a gun in his hand. No. It is safe to eat, even in the kitchen. The Germans want to come back. Mm. Well, I believe in taking precautions, Senorina. And you should, too. For instance, it's not a good idea to give away all your food like this. Unless, of course, you know of a way to replenish your supplies. I got a little flour left, and you need food more than me. No doubt you'll be able to buy all you want. I can't buy. There's a ration. Uh, perhaps some kind friend will present you with a large sum of money, and then you'll be able to get food on the black market, eh? I don't know what your friend means. Oh, he, he's just trying to be funny, you know, comedian. Uh, in my opinion, you've been extremely generous. And later on, I'm sure Bill will agree with me. Yeah. But what I can't understand is why the senorina has put a lamp in the window. Hmm? Have you noticed that? Uh, don't you have blackout regulations, senorina? Yes. There is the regulations. The Germans is very strict on the towns, but out here, they don't bother very much. Well, that's strange. I should have thought that close to the front like this, they'd enforce the regulations more strictly than ever. <laughs> Do you realize that anyone standing outside must be quite certain by now we're having supper in here? It's not a dangerous now. Well, I hope not. Well, I think we've eaten all your food, Senorina. We'd better be on our way. It's dark enough outside. Oh, don't go yet. I got some coffee for you. Ah, well. We'll still end up in the bag if we don't get a move on. Now, hurry up, Arthur, and drink that coffee. It's time we Oh, have. wait. Let me go and look outside first. Mm. If anyone's here, they'll have seen us already. I'm not such a mug as to be taken in by all this. Oh, darn it, Bull. If she, look, if she was planning to give us away, the jury should have been here by now. But where are they? And that's just what I'm wondering. Oh. I'll tell you in advance what she's going to say when she comes in again, shall I? She's going to tell us how to get to the front, which direction to go in, which path to follow. Now, why is she doing this? I'll tell you. Because she knows where the juries will be waiting to intercept us. Oh, trot. Careful, she's coming back. to leave now. I'll lead it away. Ah, now, I tell you the best way to go. First, you walk through the vines until you come to the stone wall. Then you take the path that goes down to the river. But be careful. It is very steep. You follow my footsteps. Oh, but it's guarded by Jerry's. No, I never see Germans there. I see this gun, Senorina. I'll use it. Who's waiting down there? Where? Quiet. out there. Oh, come on, Bull. I can't hear anything. Hey, you're right. Get into the room. Get under his bed. Hurry. Not this time. Bull, for heaven's sake, put that gun away. Look, if they find you with it, we're finished. You can't take on a platoon of Jerry. We're finished anyway. It won't matter where we hide. But I'm going to make sure that someone else doesn't escape either. Don't you point that gun at me. You're a German spy, Mr. Nelly. Your mind. We're taking you with us, Senorina. No. Smash it down. By heck, they are. I 
Joker. Stand against the wall. Put your hands up. Where are the hounds? Search the house, fellas. There are, there are no Germans in here. They're just us free. Then who fired that shot? How come you warps speak English? <laughs> We're escaped prisoners of war. We're not warps. We're English. Oh, now there's a thing. And this dame, who's she? Well, if it wasn't for her, we'd be in the bag again. Senorina, I... Mistakes is easy to make these days. And now you don't have to go to the front. No. The fronts come to us. Adventure is produced by Anne Freed and directed by Henry Liffenthal.